So far in this section, we have seen how to customize the behavior of links using certain attributes. But if you remember, it is also possible to programmatically navigate to a different route without using a link. In such cases, is it possible to preload data and code? It is, and in this video, let's learn how. In the home page, I'm going to add a button that says go to products. On click of this button, let's navigate to the same products route using the go to function from the navigation module. So script section, import go to from dollar app slash navigation. On the button, we bind to the click event and call go to passing in slash products. If we now save the file, head back to the browser, you can see on hover of this button, we don't preload data or code. Click on the button and we are navigated to the products page. Now we can change this preloading behavior by using the preload data function. Begin by importing it from the navigation module. Next, on the button, we listen to the mouse over event. This is going to be an async function where we await preload data and the path is slash products. Now when you add on mouse over, we also need to address on focus for accessibility. We can copy paste this and change on mouse over to on focus. If we now head back to the browser, refresh and hover over the button, we can see the preloading in action, code and data. This of course mimics the hover behavior on a link. We can bind to on mouse down if you would like to mimic the tap behavior. Also, if you want to preload code rather than data, please import and use preload code function from the navigation module. So preload code and the same we call inside on focus and on mouse over handlers. Refresh, hover, and we don't see the double underscore JSON file being downloaded, only the code. So that pretty much covers everything about link options. In this section, we learned how to modify the behavior of a link by making use of a few attributes. We learned how to preload data using data swellkit preload data, how to preload just the code using data swellkit preload code, how to let a browser handle a link using data swellkit reload, how to prevent default scroll behavior using data swellkit no scroll, and finally, how to preload data and code when navigating programmatically. In the next section, let's understand about page options. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.